Hey guys, it's Katie here and today I'm going to show you how to set up a product inside of Kartra. So um, what I did, I have basically created a membership site and it's all ready to go. Um, and what I need to do next, as you can see here, um, it says that I need to create a product or I need to set up a product so I'll be able to sell um, access to that specific membership site that I've created. Um, if you want to um, see exactly how I have created the membership site, I will link um, the couple of videos that I did prior to this one below this video as well as uh, the cards that you can see on top. and. Uh, go ahead and check out you know the membership site creation if you'd like to watch that um, and now I'm gonna go and show you how to set up a product so you can sell the access to your membership site so if you already have access to Kartra um, great you know if you don't have access to Kartra platform it's a, you know a platform that I use to build my business on I would highly recommend you to go and check out the link below this video as well where you can learn exactly what Kartra is and what it can do for your business. Um, so I basically build my entire business on Kartra by using Kartra. So um, go ahead and check that out if you're interested in that. Um, if you are a Kartra member, awesome, congrats. Um, you know, I'm excited for you. If you're just starting out, I'm excited for you to get started and start building your business um, using this amazing platform. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So what I will go ahead and do, I will just go ahead and click go to my products right here. But if you are not on this specific page, you can definitely go to my products right here and uh, start setting up your pro products through that page. So I will just go ahead and start from here. Uh, well, the first thing what you would need to do to set up um, a product is click the green button below right here. So the first thing it's asking you is um, what is going to be the name of your product. So I will go ahead and put online success blueprint. And if it's going to be a main product or if it's going to be an upsell or downsell. So for now, I will go ahead and choose uh, main product right here and then click next. So the next thing that I would need to do is just go through these steps right here and um, set it up. So the official name for my product is going to be the same name right here. And the description of my product, I can, you know, put whatever description I want. All right, so I'm done with my description and I will go ahead and click save. So what um, payment method do I want to use um, or do I want to let my um, potential customers and students use in order to get access to uh, my product or to buy my product? So I will actually choose PayPal and just select my PayPal account. If you don't have uh, PayPal or Stripe or anything integrated with Kartra yet, um, you will have to just go to my integrations right here and just integrate it first before you do this step. So um, if you're here and you don't see anything here, just click on configure later. And once you integrate your payment methods, uh, or payment integrations, you'll be able to see, you know, your payment methods here. So as well as the credit card, and I'll just use my um, Stripe and click save. All right, and then click save and next. So what kind of price point do I want? Um, also, uh, how many price points do I want if I want like a few different price points? Uh, for this specific course, I, I just want one price point and it's going to be a one-time payment of $37. Um, also, if you want to have like an initial payment, like a $7 trial for seven days, you would have to just click here and, you know, just enable this one and set it up that way. 
So um, I'm done with my payment here. Um, and I will also add the, uh, the price description. So I'll just do like one time payment full access for one time payment and then click save. All right, um, the shipping cost, you know, obviously I'm not go going to do any shipping cost because this is a digital product. It's not like a, a real physical product. So I'll skip that. I'll also skip the sales tax. Uh, the refund policy, I will go ahead and leave. I will just change it to um, the 14 day period. Um, it's just how I like to do, you know, we can do 30 days, 60 days, seven days, no refund at all. Um, it's up to you how you want to choose and what you want to choose. So let's click save and save and next. Where are people going to go to buy this product? So I will go ahead and choose my page. I already have a page created in my pages right here. So I'll just go ahead and choose it. All right. And click save. So I will go ahead and um, choose configure later for the thank you page because I don't have this one created yet. So I will, um, once I create, I will go back in here and just change it and you know find the page that I've created here. All right, so I'll save and next. So as you can see, this is red now. It turned to red. That means um, that's the step where I need to come back to. So it makes it easier for me to know where exactly I need to add the page that I haven't created yet. So let's choose the checkout um, page. What uh, type of checkout page do we want? So I'll just do an overlay pop-up window um, for this one and we can also see how it looks if we want. So the website is going to be behind us and then it's going to be like a pop-up here. All right and we can also choose the color that we want as well. All right, I will go ahead and choose this color right here and click save. So for the checkout page fields, what exactly do you want? What kind of information do you want to get um, from your customer um, on the checkout page? This is where you would put that. So if you want to add any more uh, page fields like their address, whatever you want to put add there, um, like let's say you're selling like a physical product, obviously you would need their address. So you need to change it here. I'll just leave it as it is. Also, you can um, choose a, an express checkout. So this way they're going to be able to actually check out much faster and, and go through the, uh, you know, through the checkout process faster. Um, so I will go ahead and choose this and click save. Uh, we can also do card abandonment tagging. So if someone has, um, you know, ended up on your checkout, but they decided not to purchase, we can tag those people and we can follow up with them with an email saying like, you know, I know you were about to purchase, you know, and I want to just, just tell you, you know, share some benefits about the product or um, give a discount or anything like that. Well, it's really up to you how you want to set it up. I'll just leave it. Um, and off for now and these things will just go ahead and just leave um, off and as it is click save and next all right where are they going to um, go and get access to as soon as they are going to buy it so this one is the Kartra membership and I will go ahead and choose the membership here and click save and we can also add advanced automations if you would like. For example, like follow up emails that are going out to them for the next um, you know, few days or whatever. We can um, set it up here. I'll just leave it as it is for now and just save and next. Um, also, do you want any affiliates to sell your course or your product? If you do, you would have to go ahead and go here and change it over here in this area here. Um, and if you want actually, and if you want people to promote um, and to uh, look for affiliates for you, you would have to. You can also change an option here in order to get 
um, affiliates to opt in into your you know and get on your list like, as affiliate list so let's go ahead and click save and next and that's it the only thing we have left to do is um, a thank you page you know um, that's the page that I haven't created yet and as soon as I create it I will go ahead and go back into my products here and I will just go go back into that product and add this page into that specific product so once you're done with um, everything your product will um, be ready so um, you will actually be able to send people to your sales page and to start driving traffic and making sales with this specific product um, the cool thing is you know it's all going to be automated you know when somebody purchases um, the product you know obviously as long as you have set everything up as I showed you you know in my um, previous videos if that's a membership site that you're going to be um, promoting and getting members into and if you have set up your product correctly what you'll be able to do is just drive traffic to the sales page and you know as, as long as your sales page is converting great um, you'll be able to you know start seeing a sales roll in and everything's going to be automated so once someone uh, buys your product um, they will be um, receiving a welcome email with their login details and everything you know everything they need to know um, how to log in and go through the product and everything like that um, so you don't have to worry about it Kartra will do the work and um, you know as long as you have everything set up correctly all you would need to do is just try drive traffic to um, your sales page your website get visitors to your website so that's it for this video hope you got a lot of value out of this video and go ahead and check out uh, the links below this video to my um, uh, other trainings that I have on membership site creation within Kartra as well so you'll be able to um, know how to create a membership site and how to set up a product within Kartra and start selling it um, if you do want to learn more about Kartra, if you don't have access to it yet, go ahead and check out the link below as well. I will include my bonus page as well there. I do provide some bonuses for those of you guys who do purchase Kartra um, through my link. Um, so go ahead and check out um, the links below this video and I look forward to talking to you in the next one.